back, go back, and go. That was cool. I'm not going to quantize that because I want it to be more human. Um, so now you got to do now. Now I'm going to do is highlight the entire amount that I've been recording because they're all different recordings at one time. And I'm going to bounce them all together so that I can see the entire drum uh, track. So you go to edit. You go to bounce to clips or clips. And it puts them all together. So now you got one little deal here. Um, you play it. Now it's way, it's a little too off, so I'm going to re-highlight it and I'm going to quantize it again just to get it back on track so it sounds more uh, fluid. <laughs> so now I'm going to go here and I'm just, it's going to keep bothering me until I fix it. So uh, when you go into velocity, you can change the level of each sample and, you know, you want your bass, you want your kick and your snare to be the loudest and everything else you want to be kind of like not so loud. So you can go here and you can change the level. Okay, so I know it's kind of a whack song, but, you know, just bear with me. I'm just trying to help you out here. Okay, so now... We've got a drum track and we've got um, our basic loop. So I think right now I can go any way. I can put a synthesizer on there or, you know, me or lead or I can go with a bass drum. But right now I'm going to go with a bass drum. And by far my favorite synthesizer or virtual synth is Rapture. So we're going to press control, uh, alternate 8 to get the synthesizer back up. I'm going to press A to add. It's going to pull that up. And I'm going to arrow to the side here until I get to Rapture. If you have Rapture LE in regular, in uh, in just the standard version of Sonar, that's fine. Press return. Return is going to create two tracks for me, a MIDI track and an audio track, which I like better. You can also change it to where it's just one, one instrument track, which is fine. But I like controlling the volume of the MIDI and the volume of the audio separately. That's just a preference for me. So now I'm in uh, <coughs> Rapture. All you got to do is click. It says empty program you just click there and we're gonna look for a base and then these are the um, standard uh, presets already in there and there's a ton of them you know and I like to start somewhere in the middle because I use the beginning ones a lot and so we'll just go there and that's way too loud so we go to the track that represent Rapture and I go to the audio track and I turn the volume on the audio track down okay. and that's already a cool sounding one there and then you can use the arrow to just kind of toggle which one you want to hear Now we got to find out what uh, key that it's in and figure that out. So I'm just going to play with it right now. gonna keep it that way that it is uh, maybe I'll look here a little bit more now nah, we're just gonna keep it we want to keep moving so we're just gonna keep that base and we're gonna
gonna try to find a bass line here and just put it up. And go. trying to go fast here. All right, go. <clears throat> and then, okay, so now if that is too high, you can also um, right click in this little effects box right here you can right click to patch an effect right click it and you can go to MIDI plugins uh, and cakewalk effects you can arpeggiate it uh, chord analyzer echo delay whatever right now I just want to transpose it so I'm going to transpose and I want to see what it's going to sound like if I do it an octave lower maybe it's too heavy maybe not I don't know so we press play <laughs> So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go to velocity, and I'm gonna add a synth uh, synthetic snare to it to make it. I don't know, just make it sound a little bit better. Add a synthetic snare. Um, I'm gonna go to. Let's see, there's nothing on uh, A sharp four, so we'll go A sharp four. Go to the beginning by pressing W. Okay. So cool. We will process, quantize that. Bam. And then we will... Go to edit, bounce, clip it, bam, so it's all in the same place. So that snare is going to be, the snare and the open hat are going to be part of the uh, chorus. Uh, when we get to a chorus. Um, and then one last thing is I want to add on the drums, I want to add like an effect, like